Here we are at lot three uh, over here in Wild Horse Mesa. This lot, which I didn't know until today, this lot has direct frontage on Wild Horse Drive, which is kind of the main main drag here. So there's we're parked right in front of the property. It's fairly level. It's actually pretty much directly across from the uh, the little community center at Wild Horse Mesa. We've got power right there on Wild Horse Mesa Drive. Uh, so this is this is a good one for sure. Walking, I'll just walk up onto the property. Uh, you can see it's pretty much level. There's a house a few hundred yards away to the east. I can see a couple houses toward the south a few hundred yards away. Uh, these are, they could be year-round homes. They look more like uh, vacation type cabins to me. But you can do either one out here. Gorgeous mountains off to the east. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. Unfortunately, it's a little cloudy today. But we've got some beautiful mountains off to the east. This is not very far from the lake. Or the reservoir. It's a, it's a lake or reservoir, but you can fish in it and play with that. Power and phone are going to be right here on the road. I'll see if I can walk onto the property a little bit just to kind of show you what it's all about. There we go. Yeah, this is good to go. Basically flat. We've got some of the small sagebrush. Cedar, very small cedar trees, all typical of this area. So this would be a great one for a full-time home or a little vacation cabin. I'll zoom in on this cool cabin someone's built over here. See if I can get, there it is. So you don't have to build a, you know, a 3,000 square foot home or anything here in Wild Horse Mesa. You can build just a little, little home and then use it uh, for inexpensive living or for some beautiful vacations. It's too bad it's so cloudy over those mountains, but you can still kind of, kind of get the gist of it. So that's lot three on Wild Horse Drive. So peaceful out here, it's gorgeous, gorgeous.